Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video I'll be talking about all the best phones that you can buy on the Flipkart's Big Billion Day Sale. Now there are literally lots of phones especially in front of me and there are a lot more phones behind me and companies have been going literally nuts launching all these phones. But for a good part most of the best selling phones or the best phones are being sold on Flipkart and in the upcoming Big Billion Day Sale all of them or at least most of them are in a very discounted price and you also get extra 10% discount if you buy using a HDFC credit card, debit card or if you buy it on EMI. So there are lots of offers, you get additional discounts and you might be wondering which phone to buy in which price segment. So with that said, I'll talk about the best phone that you can buy under 5000 rupees. Now there aren't many phones in this price segment so we just have one option, that's the Infinix Smart 2. Now this phone will be priced at 5000 rupees and after using HDFC discount you can get it for about 4500 rupees. Now this is a pretty entry level phone. So you'll just have 2GB of RAM, 16GB of storage and so if you're a very basic user looking to buy a phone at just 5000 rupees, I think Infinix Smart 2 will be a great choice. Now coming to the phones that you can buy under 7000 rupees, the first one would be this Realme C1. Now this one will be priced at 7000 rupees and it's the same like the Realme 2. In fact, I'm using the Realme 2 for just a quick demonstration. So you'll get this flashy back bigger 4300 almost 4300 milliampere battery a display with a notch at just 7000 rupees and sadly it only comes with 2 gb ram and 16 gb storage so if once again if you are a very basic user maybe you use your phone just for calls whatsapp and watching videos then at just 7000 rupees you can get this display notch which just looks amazing with a bigger battery and all the cool features so this will be at priced at 7000 rupees with hdfc discount you can get it for about 6300 rupees so i think it's a pretty good deal for the price but as I've said, it's for a very entry level user. Now, if you are a heavy user, I'll recommend you the Redmi 6. Now, this phone is priced at 8,000 rupees in the sale time, and with the discount, you'll be getting at 7,200 rupees. And the main benefit with this phone is this phone comes with 3GB RAM and 32GB storage. That's definitely better than the Redmi or Realme C1, as this phone just comes with 16GB of storage. So as I've said, if you are a very basic user, at 7000 rupees you can go for Realme C1. But if you are a heavy user and want to buy a phone at 7000 rupees, you can go with Redmi 6. Now if you are planning to buy a phone under 10,000 rupees, there are a lot of options. And the first one I would suggest you would be this Nokia 5.1 Plus. Now this phone will be priced at 10,500 rupees, but after the discount you should be getting at 9,500 rupees. As you can see, it's a complete glass build. It has the dual camera setup, pretty good cameras I would say. Not the best in the price segment, but the cameras are pretty good. And you also get this notch design with HD plus resolution and a Helio P60 processor. So if you're not gonna play games but want a pretty good build and a phone from Nokia with pure stock Android, then you can definitely go with this Nokia 5.1 Plus. Literally guys, everything about this phone is pretty good. The only problem with this phone is the HD plus resolution. So except for that, if you play a lot of games like PUBG Mobile or Asphalt 9, you'll have great visuals but the resolution will be compromised a little. So except for that little con, this is a very good phone. You can definitely give it a try. Now the next best phone that you can buy under 10,000 rupees would be this ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 3GB RAM variant. This is priced at just 10,000 rupees and after the discount you can get it for 9,000 rupees. Now compared to this Nokia phone, even this phone comes with a pretty good processor. It has a massive 5000 mAh battery, comes with pure stock Android and the same Snapdragon 636 processor. So if you like to play a lot of games and want to buy a phone under 10,000 rupees, especially for gaming, this is going to be an excellent choice. Now, if you're a Motorola fan and want to buy a Motorola phone, I'll suggest you the Moto Z2 Play. Now, during the sale, it should be priced at 10,000 rupees and after using the HDFC discount, it should be around 9,000 rupees. It's an year-old phone, but it's still a pretty good phone in terms of design and build and you also get an AMOLED display. And on the whole, it's a pretty good choice if you're really into Motorola phones. But do know that it won't be getting any future updates. It might get it, but it's not going to be very consistent like other phones. And most importantly, that's going to be the best Motorola phone you can get at that price. Now going on next, we have the Honor 9N. Now honestly, this phone lacks in terms of performance when compared to other phones that I've just mentioned. But if you want a phone with a smaller form factor, glass bill with good cameras, better cameras than Nokia 5.1 Plus with Full HD Plus display under 10,000 rupees, then you can consider this Honor 9N. After the discount, you should be getting it at 9,000 rupees, which is still a pretty good deal. Now finally, we have the Infinix Note 5. This phone is going to be priced at 9,000 rupees. So after HDFC discount, it's going to be around 8,100 rupees. And the best thing about this phone would be the display. Your stock Android is from Android One program. So it will be getting continuous updates pretty quickly. And it has a massive 4,500 mAh battery, supports fast charging and comes with a fast charger inside the box. 
So if you're a very normal user who wants great battery life, fast charging support with a pretty good display, you can definitely consider the Infinix Note 5. Now, if you're looking for a phone under 15,000 rupees, the best one would be the Realme 2 Pro. Now, I don't have that phone, but the display should look something like this. And as you can see, it has a massive display with the new water top design. You also get pretty good cameras and a Snapdragon 660 processor at just 15,000 rupees. So with HDFC discount, it should be around 13,500 rupees. So if you want the best value for money, definitely go with the Realme 2 Pro, but it's going to be on a flash sale. So getting it might be a little tough. Now, the next best choice would be the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, here's the phone and this phone will be priced at 13,000 rupees during the sale. And with the discount, you can get it for about 11,700 rupees. As you might have already known, it has a pretty good stable software, pretty big 4,000 milliampere battery. It also supports fast charging. It doesn't come with a fast charger though. It has pretty good cameras as well. On the whole, this is a very well balanced phone under 15,000 rupees and you can get it for as low as 11,700 rupees. So that's a pretty good deal. Now, if you're a Nokia fan and want the display with a notch with good performance, you can consider this Nokia 6.1 Plus. It once again comes with a glass bill which looks premium, entire design and build is pretty solid just like any Nokia phones. And most importantly, it has the same Snapdragon 636 processor seen in the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Asus M1. So even in terms of performance, it is pretty good. So if you want a phone with good performance, pure stock Android with a display notch, you can consider this Nokia 6.1 Plus. But cameras on this phone, at least with the stock camera application, aren't that impressive, but with a future update, it might improve. So after a HDFC discount, you can get this phone for about 13,500 rupees. Now for the final choice, once again, we have the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, 6GB RAM variant with 64GB of storage. Once again, you can get it for about 13,000 rupees or 12,000 rupees. So these are all the best phones that you can buy under 15,000 rupees. There are quite a few and you might be really confused. So let me just give you a quick recap. If you want a very well balanced phone, you can still go with this Redmi Note 5 Pro. It's still an awesome phone. But if you want something from a brand like Nokia with pure stock Android, you can definitely consider this. Nokia 6.1 Plus, it comes with a notch with smaller bezels all around, but the cameras are a slight bit disappointing. But if you want a phone with a massive battery, you can consider this Asus M1. It comes with 6GB of RAM, so memory management, and the overall performance should also be really good. By the way, these three phones that I've just mentioned come to the same Snapdragon 636 processor, which is pretty good for gaming as well, especially games like PUBG. And my first suggestion would be Realme 2 Pro. If you can get it, I mean in the flash sale, definitely go with this phone. It's a beast in terms of performance and you also get an amazing looking display. Now coming to flagships or phones that cost more than 20,000 rupees. First, we have the Poco F1, which is there is no drop in price it is still at 21,000 rupees but with HDFC discount you should be getting it around 20,000 or 19,000 rupees so this is still a pretty good choice and it comes with the Snapdragon 845 processor with a display notch so everything's simply amazing there's nothing wrong with this phone by the way uh, everyone seems to be worrying about that color bleeding or screen bleeding issue I didn't have it and even my friend who bought it like on the third sale didn't have it so this phone is pretty good no problem with it if you want the best value for money, just go with the Poco F1. Now the next best flagship that you can get would be the Mi Mix 2. Now the next best option after the Poco F1 would be the Asus Zenfone 5Z. Now in the sale, it will be priced at 25,000 rupees and after the discount, it should be around 23,000 rupees. And at that price, it definitely offers more features than your Poco F1, like a dual stereo speakers, better cameras, and the entire design and build of this phone is definitely better than this Poco F1. So if you don't like Redmi phones or Xiaomi phones for some reason and want the Snapdragon 845 processor, then you can go with Asus Zenfone 5Z. Next we have Honor 10. Once again, even this phone will be priced at 25,000 rupees. It comes with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Once again, if you can't get the Poco F1 but still want a flagship graded specs, at that price you can consider Honor 10. It's not the same as Asus 5Z, at least I don't think it's equal in, in terms of performance, but when it comes to software features, it is definitely better than Asus 5Z. So it's just an alternative for Asus and Poco phones. If you want it, you can go get it. Now coming to some crazy deals. First, we have the Samsung S8. It's just priced at 30,000 rupees. Now I have personally used the Samsung S8 and it's an amazing phone when it comes to design and build. And with all that infinity display curved sides, it just looks amazing. So if you're in the market, if you want a phone from Samsung that looks amazing with pretty good cameras, you can definitely go with the Samsung S8, it will not disappoint you. Well, you will be disappointed with the updates and the overall performance over time. But if you're looking for a phone that just looks amazing with good cameras and an awesome display, 
Samsung A6 it's still the best choice, especially considering the price. Next we have the Moto Z2 Force, which is really a crazy deal. Now this phone will be priced at just 17,500 rupees, and at that price, you'll be getting an AMOLED display, Snapdragon 835 processor, and a scratch-resistant display. Now you can see videos online, people have been literally dropping it, dragging it, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and the display simply doesn't break. So if you want a phone like that at 17,500 rupees, Moto Z2 Force is an amazing choice. Now once again stock might be very limited so I don't think everyone can get their hands on it so so if you can get it Moto Z2 Force is definitely an amazing choice. Now for the final crazy deal we have the Mi Mix 2 now once again with the last generation that's a Snapdragon 835 processor with 6GB RAM 128GB storage with smaller bezels all around this phone will be priced at 23,000 rupees so once again if you don't mind using a last generation processor at that price and you don't get the Poco F1 but want something from Xiaomi with flagship rated specs, you can consider that phone. By the way guys, Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL will also be sold at a discounted prices. Final price has not been revealed but if you are looking for a phone with awesome cameras, you can also check out these phones. So guys, those were all the best phones that you can buy on the Flipkart Big Billion Day Sale. Now I also put a link in the description with the article to my website where I'll be updating more best deals so if I find anything interesting I'll update that link. So check that out, refresh it, see it more frequently for more information and if I missed out on anything important, if you find any awesome deal let us know, let us everyone in the channel know by commenting below this video and I'll try to share it in my website as well. So guys that's pretty much it for this video, thanks for watching, if you're planning to buy any of these phones. Use the link in the description, it always helps the channel and if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and I'll try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nigel from GreedyTech signing off, have a nice day.